So guys, what is up? It is Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video here, and I am here right now to show you how the mammoth, right here, as you can see, all of them, do against the bosses of Alguero. Well, in bosses in general. I've had a lot of people request this because they've been like, yo, how do they do? They all have five veggie cakes on them, just so you know. And I'll kind of show you what they all look like. I'm hoping they can all get into the boss fight. I'm just a little bit worried about these guys over here. Um, but not the greatest saddles, five veggie cakes. These are their stats. Nothing great. They are basically wild tames. And um, <clears throat> so you could get a lot better. So I'm curious to see how they do. I am going to bring in a Deodon and a Yudi just to see how well, you know, how much help they really need to do this boss fight. But other than that, shouldn't be a whole terrible boss fight. I'm not super concerned. I think they're going to be all right. Um, I think that it's something that the Mammoth are going to do great. However, you know, it, it's you never know with these boss fights because some tames that you think are going to be amazing are just terrible. And then sometimes you think you're going to be really good. R, and you know, whatever. They just, it, it, to each their own the mammoths, the benefit is they do a ton of damage. And um, that, that really is the benefit. They do a ton of damage. So let's go ahead and test them out for, uh, just for the purpose of, you know, figuring out does this little strategy work? Let's do it. So oh, I'm not sure they're all going to come in with us here, but I'm hoping they do. <clears throat> We're going to find out. So I'm going to ride the uh, U-Tyrannus, and uh, it's something that, you know, I enjoy. So I'm going to obviously use that as my creature. Get the screenshot going, as always. Drop that screenshot in there, and voila. I'm going to go ahead and hop on this uh, underneath this UD, so that way when we're in the boss fight, that's where I show up. And... Oh, boy. There's the UD. Okay. Looks like most of them made it in, which is nice, obviously. Okay, this is scary. There's a mammoth without a saddle. Oh well, looks like you're going to be fine. Probably, maybe, we'll see. And we're going to try and get this guy to pay attention to us real quick. We want to ignore group whistles. Passive. All of this is the lowest. Ow! No. No. Okay, well they're doing fun. These guys are tall enough to just shred the Pteranodon, so that's nice. And there we go. Alright, so we're going to give these guys the boost because the dragon looks like he's about to land. Ow. Oh no. <clears throat> okay, the dragon is down. Pull out our stuff here. Whistle attack this target on him. Just click in the middle there. We're going to boost everything because we want them to uh, not take as much damage. They've got the cakes, so that hopefully they'll be able to take a little bit more heat. And obviously we want to hope they surround them a little bit. Oh, they do quite a bit of damage. And it looks like some of the ones in like the second and third row are still able to hit their attacks because he is a very long creature, which is nice. And they're also damaging the Manticore, which is really nice as well. So that's beneficial. Okay, and because they're large tames, um, as you can see right here, he is not going to just focus on me. He is actually going to try and focus on them as well, which can be kind of unfortunate. Keep boosting him to reduce that damage taken. It looks like some are pretty bloody, which is not, not good, obviously. But once we get past the dragon, wow, the Manticore is taking a lot of damage. That's nice of her. Okay, so it looks like they're starting to surround him a little bit better there. Which is okay. I'm going to hop on this guy right here. And go ahead and uh, enable this secondary attack. And get some heals going in there. Get them to follow me up here. Come on now, everything. Back up here. There we go. We want them heals going, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, enable passive healing on this guy. There we go. Now we're starting to get some. Some were pretty bloody, so it looks like they took a lot of damage. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. 
Now they're starting to learn. So, looks like we got some heals going here. I'm hoping they're eating their veggie cakes. That dragon is super low, which is awesome. Okay, so I think they're going to go straight for him. Oh, that's not good. Oh well. We're going to find out how well they do, huh? Alright, let's do this. That fire blast is just dangerous. <clears throat> it's super dangerous on the fire blast. I don't think we're in the range to aggro the Mega Pithecus, but we're probably pretty close. So he's almost gone. Let's put on some, some of that there. Dragon's almost done. And they've got the Veggie Cake, so they should theoretically be healing. He should be ducked out here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and move this way. What, what is happening? We're going to go ahead and go after this uh, Megapithecus here. <clears throat> okay. And they should be okay now, maybe? We're going to see, because they did take a ton of damage. That's the one negative. And I can help them with this, uh, this guy right here, because... Okay. Wow, they can deal a ton of damage. And you could easily do this where you have a couple of different whistle groups, so that way you've got... Yeah, they're doing a good amount of damage on them. I'm, I'm okay with this. This is, this is going well. That knockback is pretty big against them, though. There we go. The Manticore keeps landing. Because they're large creatures, she lands more because she actually aggroes to all of us instead of just, like, me as the u Diranus, which is awesome. This is actually a pretty quick boss fight so far. All things being considered. Ooh, even got a little bit of healing there. How nice. Alright, Megapithecus is down. Let's see if we can get him to attack this guy over here. Can I root whistle? Nope, not gonna work. She's up in the air. So here's the benefit. Because they are large tames technically, Ooh, she landed. Wow, this could be one of the quickest boss fights ever. Ow, that was that was some torpidity. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stay away from the tail of death. But, because they are large tame, she is going to land more, so this might be, this might be a new record for speed. We're looking at less than six minutes right now. And she really wants to attack the mammoths for some reason. I'm not really sure why. But I am enjoying it. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Oh my what? what? Okay, so yes, we did lose some mammoths. I'm sure I could have done better about surrounding the dragon better. And if you had a guy on a Deodon and a Yudi, this is probably doable. Like, without losing a single one, because you can still heal him and give him the buff. That's impressive. I am actually quite impressed with these things. Alright, so I've got the Deodon and the Yudi following each other. Okay, what is happening? Thank you. Looks like some of them took a lot of damage. Some are okay. Well, you are almost toast auto. You had a really good saddle, too. But, and it looks like they ate through, so you need more than five veggie cakes per, probably. But they auto eat them, which is nice. But it's definitely a doable boss fight. Um, I'd say I wouldn't necessarily recommend this over, like, a Deinonychus boss fight, where you can kind of just shred the things. But obviously, it's entirely up to you. Oh, my goodness. What is happening? Let me see here. Let me see what's going on. There we go. Oh, there's a drop coming down. But it looks like we had about a half survival rate, maybe a little bit more. And uh, they seem to do fine. They do a ton of damage, which is awesome. With that UD buff and the Deodon healing them, 
I think it's reasonable to think they could do this. It didn't seem to get shredded by the fire so much. Some other teams lose like everything really instantly and they, they're almost dead. These guys were able to kind of, for lack of a better word, shred through pretty much everything that I needed them to, which was nice. And, uh, well, obviously that's pretty neat. So I, I would say, you know, in my opinion, I've done a lot of boss fights with a lot of different creatures. Mammoths are certainly a possibility. I mean, that's not bad. And you could eat, now just to show you how much you can raise these guys' stats, just by putting like 10 levels into them, look at that. 24,000 health, so you wouldn't really have to worry about losing anything. Let's see how much the melee goes up. Okay, not the greatest. Melee. I mean, you're going up 20 percentage points-ish per level, so that's a... You could get some really sick mammoths. This is a mammoth herd that could do it. Let's see here. I'm just curious. Yeah, I just went up 300% melee by just leveling him. So, I think it's doable. My opinion, I give the mammoths the plus, and uh, they are a doable boss fight. So, that's pretty neat. The mammoths of death. And they did it in a relatively quick fashion. I think it's the fastest one yet. Alright. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And Teacher's Game 2.